take a look at amazon so amazon uh has not been looking pretty for the past week here if we can kind of see this top here this little blow off top uh going back to uh two fridays ago we've consistently been putting in these lower highs you can see here you can see here you can see here you can see here 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 uh today it looks like we're trying to break out However, the market did get a little bit of a bounce. So what we really want to focus on on Amazon is can we get out of this channel? This channel right in here is this 50% retracement um, on uh, Amazon is what we're really looking at. This is the four hour time frame, So it's going to kind of give us a broad overall picture. Uh, you know, definitely right now is a cash flow scalpers market. You really don't want to put on any swing trades just due to the fact that, you know, one downtick or one headline that comes across the media can, you know, either ramp us up. And if you're short, that's going to crush you or flush us out. If you're long, it's going to really start to hurt you. So, however, if you are holding uh, some Amazon, maybe you're holding some options contracts or something, this is what we're really looking for here going into tomorrow, which is going to be this, uh, the 7th of, of um December, um, 3469. Okay. So right in that area, it's not going to be to the penny, but right here, we, we really want to start where we tested this area one time, two times. And you can see, we kind of wicked here three times. This area is acting as resistance. This is also going to correlate with this linear regression channel here. And it's also going to correlate with like the hundred and 150 day moving averages. Those yellow lines that you see, uh, dragging across my screen. So we're really looking to get out of the woods right around here, uh, reclaiming this 50 EMA as well as this 50% uh, retracement here, 3470. Um, I know that's still a while, uh, a while away, but here's the thing. If you start playing Amazon on a, on a green day like this, okay, and we start playing the bounce going forward, okay? Even though we do have some room here, if we do come into the supply, get rejected, Amazon can easily flush back down into the golden pocket here at around 3,400, which is around 27, 30 points away. That's definitely not what you're going to want to see, especially with the volatility and the way that the market has been trading until the triple Q start reclaiming some of these moving averages. And, and the first one that we really need to uh, start reclaiming is a 20 day moving average. The longer that we continue to build under the 20 day moving average, we're going to continue to see this choppy market. We're going to continue to see, you know, this green day and then next day give all the profits away. We're going to see a down day followed by a bounce. We're not going to really get any solid fall through and it's going to be very, very hard to swing things if we don't start kind of knocking out these areas. Um, I would look for 3,400 as an area of support somewhere down in here. Obviously, if we do lose uh, today's lows, these these low wicks here where the bulls came and kind of bought that up, if we do lose that, we do have room down to 3,300. So keep an eye on the triple Qs. The triple Qs have tested that $380, 378 area in between that range two times. We tested it once on Friday and we tested it once today. If we go through this week and we test it one more time and break through, you are definitely going to see Amazon come down here and start testing this $3,300 range. I know it seems like it's a, it's a long ways away, but that just is what it is. And that's the next area of support. The next area of resistance that we have here on Amazon is going to be 3484. So anywhere in between this 3470 and 3484, 3494 area, it's a big wide range. Okay. So just keep that in mind. When you are trading Amazon, the support might be 10, 15, 20 points down. The resistance might be 10, 15, 20 points up. So if you are a scalper or a day trader, you can get in. There is little pockets where you can get in, scalp some cash flow and move along. If you are someone that's looking to put on a weekly options contract or maybe even next week's expiration, be very, very careful. When I, when I mean, when I say to be careful, that means, you know, be careful because if the, if Amazon wants to come ahead and come push into this 3470, 3490 area and then gets rejected. It can quickly within one day, I'm talking, you know, two, three hour candles, one, four hour candle can immediately pull back to this 3400 area and still be okay. And if you entered into this area around 3460, 3485 area, that's a 60 to 70 point drawdown. Okay. With 
that being said, the stock can still be ready for a bounce. So you can take that 50, 60, 70% or a uh, point drawdown, shake you out. And then next thing you know, the next day we bounce off that golden pocket around 3,400. And then this thing ramps up 100, 150 points. Okay. So we really want to get above this channel here. I would personally, I would like to see us get over at least a 50, uh, at least a 50 EMA. That price is going to be right here around 34.95. I mean th there's no other there's no other real way to say it. You know, this is a choppy environment. This is a volatile market. Everybody wants, you know, volatility until volatility is slapping you in the face going the opposite direction. Um it's perfect for scalpers, perfect for day traders. However, if if you are not, you know, don't have the screen time and you haven't seen this kind of volatility, you haven't seen this kind of choppiness when we're trading below some of these moving averages, you know, things can start to get really aggressive really, really fast. So, you know, just stay patient. I'd like to see Amazon get back over 3,400, even 3,500, because at 3,500, we are going to have room to about 3,550. And then anything over 3,550 is going to start this next, uh, this next range here to start testing this 3,600. So, you know, keep, keep that in mind. Definitely in a choppy environment, we are putting in these lower lows and lower highs. Uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on the futures market. See what we're kind of doing overnight. See what the pre-market is doing. If we do come up to this area, 3470, 34 area, start to chop around and then we see a rejection and we start to see some selling pressure down and the futures and the triple Qs are also pulling down too. Just be careful if we do lose that 3469 area after reclaiming it. Uh, we do have room down to 3,400. If we never make it to the 3,470, 3,485 area, well, then right now our level of support is 3,400. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If we lose 3,400, our next area of support is going to be down here around 3,340 and 3,300. So, you know, crazy market. Just be smart, play it safe, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Guys, if you want to join my Discord, that link is down in the description box below. Also, give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment, and I will catch you guys all in the next one.